despite being in a city uh, on a such a, on such a beautiful day as today it's uh, quite hard uh, not to uh, immediately reconnect with the uh, spirit of Anne that loves nature uh, and its aesthetic charms. So two days ago I was writing um, a bit of a difficult chapter or a, a part of a chapter uh, about the integration of the dark and the light or the integrating of uh, one's shadow uh, in relation to Anne's character and what uh, Lucy Maud seems to be trying to say uh, in her books. Uh, so and then I started thinking about um, you know uh, how on a day such as this uh, when it's very very bright, it's very sunny, it's very beautiful, everything seems beautiful, but uh, we actually cast uh, longer, more accentuated shadows as, uh, as we walk. And I thought there is an interplay here between uh, the more beautiful it is, uh, the, uh, the more we are aware of uh, the dark, uh, not necessarily just in our hearts, uh, but also uh, of what uh, surrounds us, of, of, of what perhaps we experience and other people experience. And, and so when thinking of character of Anne, um, it seems to me that uh, perhaps the very fact uh, that she had this uh, dark, uh, you know, uh, brought up by the hand kind of uh, childhood, uh, with all the turmoil and, uh, and hardship and, and tears that that would have entailed, um, uh, maybe that in itself, uh, uh, being an orphan, having these experiences, created a sort of space in her heart, uh, a, a greater space, a greater scope, a greater capability for gratitude, uh, forgiveness, and all of those things uh, that uh, make her such an uh, extraordinary character later on in life. Those two are not separate. Uh, there's no good or good versus evil necessarily, but rather good and evil coexist and uh, actually influence one another. So I did talk about uh, Catherine Brooke in previous videos and uh, uh, the very fact that uh, Anne is able to take uh, uh, this prickly attitude uh, uh, to herself uh, for such a long time, where many other people might have uh, turned away. Perhaps this simply is because actually she kind of knows what it's uh, uh, what it can be, what it can feel like to be uh, uh, rejected, to be excluded, and uh, so therefore she has that greater space in her heart to do so. If she hadn't gone through this dark time, uh, perhaps she wouldn't have been able to do that. And uh, so we kind of need the dark in order uh, to illuminate uh, the world with the with the light. So this is uh, yet another lesson. Uh, uh, from Anne. Uh, good and evil are not just uh, simple concepts. Some people are good, some people are bad, but actually nobody is really bad uh, and nobody is really good. We are a combination of the two and perhaps this is why uh, we can respect one another as we all struggle uh, towards figuring out uh, to do something good in life. Just like the interplay of the shadows and the light here creates today. This relationship is uh, more akin to yin and yang or sometimes talked about uh, order and chaos. They don't so much uh, oppose each other as they complete each other. They, it is the blending of them that creates a life complete. And Anne as well had to uh, accept some darkness in her heart, uh, her uh, impulsivity, uh, her uh, losing control of her emotions sometimes. Um, but without that, there would be this other side, uh, this beautiful, wonderful, forgiving side. And it is in the meeting of these two um, aspects of her personality, the, uh, the fiery one and uh, the gentle, delicate, soft one, that really her, the beauty of, uh, of her character lies.